What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Bald Man Reacts. Getting into some more The Gazette. Now, I've got to be honest. Out of all the bands that I have done on the channel, that I haven't already known, these guys are one of the bands I go back to the most. I listen to their stuff a lot when I just want to jam something. The hooks and choruses in Ugly and Duracine especially, I can't get them out of my head. They're infectious. They're just a fun band with big, heavy verses and sugary, sweet, candy bar choruses. Great mix of cleans and aggressives. And they're just an enjoyable band to listen to. I have not heard a bad track. And... I really, really do. So, more cassette. Filth and the Beauty. What I understand is earlier stuff from them. I want to check it out. So, let's go ahead and get into it. The band is the Gazette. The track is Filth and the Beauty. And here we go. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Oh yeah, that was slick. Give it heavy riffs. Punch drums. Everything I expect from these guys to open a track up. They're nailing it. Interesting sample at the beginning here. Get back on his voice there, bro. That feels really well. It's a good harmony guitar riff there. The female vocal is interesting. It's a cool touch. You guys have great riffs, man. You really do get a lot of that late 90s, early 2000s, you know, in this sound, but it sounds great. Oh, 
female vocals ever laid is an interesting touch. It actually fits pretty well. Yeah, these guys remind me a little bit of the band Dope. And that might be why I like it as much as I do. I think that is partially why I like it as much as I do. All right, that was the cassette. That was filthy and the beauty. And you're thinking more about it, listening to the other tracks, listening to this track. I think that's it. I think that's why I enjoy these guys as much as they as much as I do. I think it's because they remind me a lot of what I would think of a Japanese version of Dope. They've got some of those industrial elements there. They've got big, heavy riffs, big, catchy choruses, big hooks, great musicianship. They've got some of those rhythmic rap-like elements to them. You know, they're just and they're fun. They're just an enjoyable band. That's one of the reasons why I keep coming back to them. I love Duran Gray. I love so many of the other bands that I've listened to here on the channel that I've either brought on myself or that I've been introduced to. But these guys are fun and they're catchy and they're accessible. And I think that might be one of the reasons I keep going back to them. When the hook, when the hooks are memorable, when I can hear the chorus stuck in my head and I just can't get it out, then I'm going to go back to it. And they have some really big hooks and they're infectious and that's a great thing. So Clarem, as always, my friend, I appreciate it. I'm so glad you and... Tomo were the two to really get me hooked on these guys. They're just a great band. You know, I can't say it enough. I will. They're one that I will definitely be picking up records from soon. The bands are great, and several others. But you know, them, Duran Gray, Wagaki, uh, Versailles, Shadowmaker. Some of the ones that really stand out is just fun bands that I keep going back to. I know I got to go back, get to work out in areas as well because those guys are damn good. But had to ask me as far as the Japanese side of things, what bands I continue to go back to, those are going to be on the top of the list. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for all of you subscribers. Welcome to the family. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you to all my military, law enforcement, veterans, and first responders for what you guys do every single day. I love you, and I appreciate you. As always, you've been awesome. I've been bald, man. I will see you in the next one. Be excellent to each other. Hey,